This week you join us on our next van life adventure through the Lake District. And this one's going to be special as we'll be joined by our good friends Steve and Becky from Sell Up and Drive. So without further ado, let's get into the video. First stop in the Lake District was to reunite with Steve and Becky from Sell Up and Drive. We wasted no time in getting out to explore our surroundings, stretching our legs after a long drive from Scotland and burning off some of Lola's energy. We've been with Steve and Becky for a couple of hours and of course we've had to get the drink out already. Within like the first like 30 minutes. Living my best life. So yeah, we're gonna head over for an evening of shenanigans. We'll catch you tomorrow. Good morning. Good morning. After a pretty late night, we're up not so bright and early this morning. Right, let's head to the lakes. Right, we made it to our first stop of the day, a viewpoint on the Lake Bassenthwaite. And the weather's not too bad today. See where the wind takes us, quite literally, for the rest of the day. Not sure if we've uh, mentioned this already. Steve and Becky are starting to post longer form videos on their YouTube channel under exactly the same handle, Sell Up and Drive, but they're just over in the corner doing a little bit of a vlog segment. I feel like pro parents, don't we, Rosie? We do. <laughs> and best thing about this, it's dry. We're just thankful to be able to get out of the van and get back to exploring. So let's head to the next stop. We dropped into a rather unique cafe here in the Lake District, where you can enjoy a meal on board an old steam train. We then drove to Keswick, a charming traditional town with a picturesque park, to walk around and take in its beauty. The sun was shining, spirits were high and the views were breathtaking. Steve, do you want some water? Yeah, why? We even found a flock of friendly ducks on the water side, so we spent some time feeding the ducks and admiring our surroundings. just pulled up to our final stop of the night Burns Camping by Keswick absolutely stunning campsite we're on fully serviced hard standing pitches amazing apparently award winning shower block behind us and it includes electric as well but really nice campsite pop the what three words on the location tag if you want to stay yourself when you're in the Lake District cooking up a storm once again Rosie what have we got tonight like a mushroom stroganoff thing That's it. it smells amazing it looks fine and being as we're on a campsite this evening and we've got a table, we're going to be eating al fresco outside. In my head, al fresco sounds like it's like naked. It's not. Thank you. That food was absolutely sensational, Rosie. Booty. Now that we've eaten, we're going to pop for a shower and we'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, folks. Oh, <laughs> I'm so glad I started recording then. <laughs> the walking boots are out. We made it to our second stop of the day, which is Moss Falls Waterfall. Look at this view. Sweeping landscape, and we're thankful that the heavens haven't decided to open today. And we can actually get out, eh? Absolutely freezing, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's so cold. I think we've got one more stop to do today before finding a park up for the night. But for now, let's show you the natural beauty of the Lake District. Just seen a waterfall more your size, Steve. 
We drove down the winding roads through the Hornister Pass, arriving at the slate mine. It's safe to say, none of us knew the walk we were about to take on. So we're just doing a lovely hike up the slate mine, just down from Buttermere, and we've stumbled across a bothy. First one I've ever been into. I've obviously heard about them in Scotland and England and stuff, but never been into one. So we're coming in to check it out. There you go, enough room to sleep, sit down, light yourself a fire. And the people who visit these bothies often leave uh, trinkets, snacks, even sometimes some gas for you to do your cooking. And there's always a book that you can sign, so we've popped our uh, YouTube, TikTok and Insta handles down here. So if you come here yourself, I'll put the what three words at the top, location tag down the bottom, check this page out and sign below. And tag us if you do. Nice that, Naz? Beautiful. <laughs> Look at that. This place, this hike in particular, is absolutely outstanding. Got to come do it yourself, lads. Lola's enjoying herself as well. Five hours later, we're still not back to the back. We're still doing this hike. We're about two hours and 40 minutes into it now. To give you a bit of context of actually how far we've walked, the bothy we stopped at earlier to show you is all the way in the distance over there. So eventually we're going to get down off this mountain and Rosie's about to chew my leg off how hungry she is, aren't you? Starving. We're all pretty tired, so... <laughs> we're approaching the three and a half hour mark and Rosie's just said she can see the vans. Not far to go now. What did you say you were dreaming of now when you get back to the van, Rosie? A pint. And? Some for years. Oh, get me back to that van. Just like that, we've reached the bottom. We ended up walking three and a half to four hours. If you want to do this walk yourself, and go to the Bothy and get all the stunning views you've seen. Bring some lunch. And I'll put the what three words and the location so you can come and do it yourself. But now, let's head back to the van, head to our park up and cook up some food. Where is he? You're looking for the cheese? I'm looking for the cheese. Look harder! It's got to be around here somewhere. Yeah, what are you pointing to? <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, folks. Today, our plan is heading to Ray Castle first, and then we're going to walk into Ambleside, which is a nice little town. Similar to when we went to Keswick. It's a very similar vibe to that, so we're going to go there, check that out. It's not supposed to rain for the next three or four days. Now, let's head to Ray Castle. But first of all, we've got to say good morning to these pair. Good morning. Good morning. Showered. Good morning. <laughs> Showered, shave, all ready for the day. Well, there we go. That was Ray Castle. Very pretty. Nice bit of English history here in the Lake District. So now, start our long walk to Ambleside. Well, we made it into Ambleside after 4.4 miles. 4.8. About two hours of walking after going to Raycastle first. So now let's check out this nice traditional English town in the Lake District. Oh, we're finally back at the campsite. Thank God for that. 10 miles. 10 blooming miles we walked today. We are beat, especially after that walk we did at the mountain the other day. We are absolutely wrecked. So tonight's agenda is sit around the van, have a nice campfire, and just relax, rest our legs.
Good morning folks. So we left our campsite from last night. Come 20 minutes down the road. We're now parked in a nice park up overlooking this lovely lake, Windermere Lake to be exact. So get the paddleboard out, have a nice afternoon spent here before we go down into Windermere town itself. All right, if you're paddleboarding. <laughs> I'm gonna be far less prepared. I'm just going in my shorts. Cause who's got the time for a wetsuit on, Steve? All the gear. No idea. <laughs> do they still do, um, you've been framed? Put it in under 50 quid now. on Windermere, going for a little stroll into town. I'm off of course. Do you want to try that again? Onion bhaji. Spice. Onion bhaji. Time for the main course, veg samosas. Back in the pub again. Best place to be. The next day we doubled back on ourselves and headed for Rydal Caves to take on yet another amazing hike here in the Lake District. This place was gorgeous and reminded us of our time in Smoo Cave in Scotland. We then walked through the landscape to Rydal Mountain Gardens, where we immersed ourselves in the beauty of all the vibrant flowers on show. After stopping for a bite to eat, we headed for the Sculpture Forest, where each turn presented a unique handcrafted art piece. After a great week, we spent our last morning in the Lake District on Coniston Water, taking in the sweeping landscape, glass-like water and great weather before it was time to say our goodbyes to the Lake District and to our good friends, Steve and Becky. Well, after an amazing week traveling through the Lake District, our time here has finally come to an end. So we've been to some amazing places and done some amazing walks and hikes. And the company hasn't been that bad as well. So this is a great place to end this video here. If you want to see us journey back through Wales and getting home and just generally adjusting back to life back home, not being in a van, you'd have to stay tuned for next week's video. But if you did like our video, please consider giving us a little subscribe and a like down below. Stay tuned for the next video. But until then, we'll catch, catch you next time. time.